concern about Jeff Sessions in particular? No, I think he's going to do good. High quality man. All right, high quality man. That is Donald Trump talking about his pick for Attorney General, Jeff Sessions. Uh, but of course, uh, he is so far the only one of the cabinet picks who's looking at two days of hearings. Others could end up with two days. But the Washington Examiner's Byron York says expect some fireworks. Byron, what are we looking at here? Well, uh, we've seen Democrats already go back to 1986, back when Jeff Sessions was uh, nominated for a federal judgeship and was denied uh, that judgeship by the Senate Judiciary Committee of charges that he was, quote, racially insensitive. So you're going to see a lot of that coming up. You're going to see a lot of Democrats saying Jeff Sessions would turn back the clock on civil rights, LGBT rights, voting rights, all sorts of stuff. So I think you'll see kind of a standard playbook uh, fight against Sessions. But remember, if Republicans stay united on the Judiciary Committee, he'll win in the Judiciary Committee, and he seems very likely to win confirmation in the Senate. So what kind of an attorney general would it be? We've gotten used to over these last eight years, beginning with Eric Holder, of, of involving itself. That is the Justice Department in local matters, in cities, and on racial-related issues, profiling issues, police, uh, violence, that sort of thing. Back and forth, back and forth. Uh, would we see the mirror opposite? out of a Sessions-led uh, Justice Department? Well, you have to remember that Jeff Sessions has either worked for or with or overseeing the Justice Department for the last 40 years. He's a very, very experienced Justice Department hand. I think you have to look at some of the various uh, c categories of, of, of d issues he'll be dealing with. On the issue of crime, uh, people around Sessions believe that after a long drop of you know, maybe 25 years, crime may be rising again. They, they are very concerned about that. Um, you're going to see more effort on, uh, on uh, uh, enforcing gun laws uh, and enforcing drug laws, on not letting people out of prison too early. These are all things that they say the Obama administration did not do. So look for a lot of, uh, a lot of action on, uh, on crime, on immigration. We know Jeff Sessions is going to be very, very different. He was the main Senate opponent of comprehensive immigration reform and he has said uh, in many many places that sanctuary cities are uh, just one of the worst things you can do in the immigration system and we've seen sanctuary cities uh, in California, New York uh, and here in Washington DC uh, around the country gearing up to fight the Justice Department so I think for the first time instead of the Obama administration looking the other way for sanctuary cities you're going to see a Justice Department that's going to try to force cities into actually obeying federal immigration law. Yeah, that is the, the law of the land, so it would be interesting it is to see. You know, um, many have made a big deal of the number uh, and the, 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 the swiftness of, of some of these confirmation hearings, five in mm -hmm. one day, in the case of what we're looking at on Wednesday. Uh, but there is precedent, of course, in Barack Obama and, and, of course, George Bush. But a lot is made of the fact that some of them uh, have not filled out or, or at least completed and made available to committee members uh, their financial conflict of interest forms. Is that a big deal or is that something that is usually settled by the time the full Senate uh, votes on, on their, well, on their I think, nomination? I think Mitch McConnell, the majority leader, has said there will not be up or down votes unless the ethics uh, paperwork as well as the FBI background paperwork uh, is done. So that's probably not going to be an issue when it comes time to, for the Senate uh, to vote. But that did not now, apply to individual committees, right? I mean, uh, if they don't correct. have everything, it, it only applied to the full Senate vote, right? Right. And by the, by the way, Jeff Sessions does have all of his paperwork right. he does, uh, out, yeah. as, as do several other the nominees who are coming up. My guess is by the time the hearings are, are, are finished, you'll see most of that paperwork, that ethics uh, paperwork done, and they won't wait till the eve, you know, of the of the uh, Senate vote to to have it. So my guess is this is probably not really a big controversy. Uh, finally, on Rex Tillerson, the, the president's uh, elect choice for Secretary of State, Exxon Mobil chief, uh, at least two senators, Lindsey Graham and John McCain, as we mentioned earlier, uh, have a lot of questions for him and his ties to Vladimir Putin. Uh, could you conceivably say, even though John McCain has said he will always give the president the benefit of the doubt on his choices, that either or both could vote against him and thereby throw his nomination into some doubt. Well, it, on the one hand, it's, it's certainly conceivable. I mean, McCain likes his maverick uh, image, and yeah. you get it by doing things like this. Uh, on the other hand, there are 52 Republicans in the Senate. Tillerson could be confirmed with 50 plus, um, uh, plus the vice president. Uh, don't know if any Democrats would go along and make the job a little easier for 
for Republicans. I think there's a real possibility a few will. Right. So my guess is Tillerson gets confirmed uh, regardless of what McCain does. But if McCain and or Graham or Rubio and their concerns about Tillerson were the decisive vote, in other words, if they voted against Tillerson, then the president's nominee for secretary of state would fail. Might be hard for them to do that. Yeah, yeah. It has happened, though. It has happened. All right. Uh, thank you, Byron York, Washington Examiner, thank Chief you, Political Neil. Correspondent. Good seeing you again, my friend.